Doppler effect. It's a trial video. The Doppler effect terms. One is the source. Source is the object that makes sound. And if it is a Doppler effect in light, then the source of light. The second is observer. Observer is the person who is hearing the sound. And wave front and what a set of circles that represent waves and what we need to understand a key concept is that distance between wave fronts is wavelength so if you see here that one wave front is this another is this the distance between these two wave fronts is this wavelength lambda now if the source is at rest say this car is at rest so velocity of this car is zero so when it creates sound, the wave fronts are equally spaced and the observer is also at rest. So the frequency of the source is the same as frequency heard by the observer. The Doppler effect is a change in wave frequency caused by a moving source or a moving observer so basically you will see that doppler effect is related to moving things whether the observer moves or the source moves now when a source is moving and it's moving this side then you see that these wavelengths these wavelengths they are getting closer to each other so you see that a small wavelength this side and if you use this equation v is equal to frequency into wavelength then you will see that the frequency will increase whereas if you see this person the source is moving away from it so these wave these circles are widely separated which will result in long wavelength and long wavelength will mean low frequency now if you are understanding this diagram you need to answer few questions what happens if the source is moving away from an observer so say this is the source and it is moving away from this observer so what is happening to the wavelength these are the wavelengths what is happening to the wavelength you have to answer here to the wavelength it increases so what happens to the frequency you have to use this expression v is equal to frequency into lambda if lambda has increased what will happen to the frequency it decreases now what happens if the source is moving towards an observer so towards an observer this is the one this case so you see that wavelength circles they are getting closer to each other and if you remember that previous definition that distance between these circles is the wavelength so what is happening to the wavelength wavelength in this case decreases and what happens to the frequency frequency increases now this is the expression for the apparent frequency which is heard by the uh, uh, observer in terms of the actual frequency now whether this plus will come or minus will come the key concept is towards say source moving towards observer or observer moving towards source your frequency increases and if it is away your frequency decreases so whether to put a plus sign or a minus sign this is the key which will decide whether a plus sign or minus sign now based on it we are writing two conditions source moving towards observer so frequency should increase so in the denominator you get a minus sign so that this term is bigger than this term now source moving away from an observer decrease frequency so in the denominator there will be plus sign so that this quantity is lower than this quantity.